Hello girls, in this short lesson I'd like to show you how to access the coverage maps on the three main carriers in Australia. You will probably need this information for task one. Um, it's, a, it's the main way you'll be able to compare uh, carriers against carriers. Uh, some of the users that I've given you have some very specific needs in terms of their location. Uh, Adele uh, would be one of the uh, obvious ones. She works in Central Australia around the Alice Springs area and so uh, it would be worthwhile making sure you go to the coverage maps here and just check to make sure that a person can actually get coverage in the areas that you uh, are planning to give them coverage. So let me just show you how you do that. So I've got here the websites for Vodafone, Telstra and Optus and um, it's different on each one of them so let me just show you Vodafone first of all. Now if you're lucky um, on a good website you should be able to scroll to the bottom of the page and have this section of the page here called a site map and the site map should give you basically like an index of most of the main sections of the website and sure enough under the support section here in Vodafone there is a section called coverage checker so that's great um, Vodafone do a pretty good job of that um, so we click on that and it will take us to the coverage checker page and you can see it's got maps and stuff in here and so we can go and find out uh, what the coverage will be like in our area just want to show you where to find the others on Telstra now Telstra don't have uh, a thing here for coverage maps and there's no obvious links on the front page for coverage maps so sometimes if that happens the easiest solution is simply to search for it so there's a search box here so if I start typing and as I start typing you see it actually populates it with the word here so we'll go to coverage maps and it takes us to the search results page this is a search within Telstra itself um, and here's one called mobile broadband coverage so that's probably what we want great and that takes us to this page where again they have some maps let's just look where it is on Optus on Optus it's harder to find we can use the search feature and do it um, but I'll just tell you where to look it's uh, this yellow tab up here that says your Optus network and if you go there um, you've got a link on the front page of that section here called coverage maps and you can click check your coverage and that will then take you to the Optus mobile coverage maps so um, so that's how you get to the three different maps on the three different carriers so let's just look at how you'd use it let's go back to Vodafone so in Vodafone you can do it by um, clicking on uh, or typing in either a postcode or the name so we'll just try Alice Springs and you can also put in um, a device and you might want to click on this little link here and say why does it matter and it will tell you because some devices actually get better reception than others so Alice Springs is what we want and you can see it zooms into Alice Springs and it drops a pin Now this is the way the Vodafone one works um, let me just back out of here you've got the scaler over on the side here if I just zoom out you can see that that colored map there is a coverage map and it has actually if I just scroll down a little bit like that you can see it's got the key down the bottom here so where you see it's orange is where the reception would be um, you'd get reception indoors and outdoors so quite good the yellow area is where you get reception that is mainly outdoors and variable indoors in other words it's it's a bit patchy inside a house but it's okay outside and the pink area is where the coverage is outdoor only so um, as you can see around the Alice Springs area I don't know how familiar you are with Alice Springs but uh, this is the main highway that comes up through Central Australia and the township of Alice Springs is here you've got some mountain ranges that extend over to the to the west here um, and you can see there's some coverage probably along the main roads as you drive west now the orange area around Alice Springs is reasonably good but let's just zoom out and you'll see that as soon as you basically get outside the Alice Springs area there really isn't anything um, this is the West McDonald Ranges out here big national park area very popular with um, tourists basically no reception out there at all uh, in fact you've got to come down the highway here and out to uh, Uluru Katajuda which is basically Ayers Rock um, before you get reception in that area as well that would be to cope with tourism so the distance between uh, Uluru and Alice Springs is uh, from memory it's about 500 kilometers so it's a pretty big distance without any reception at all so in terms of that user uh, Adele we were looking at um, I mean if she spends time in remote communities uh, she's going to be pretty much out of luck once she leaves the immediate area around Alice Springs so that's something to consider let's just zoom in again the other thing the way this map works you can see there's a pin in here because we uh, we we're using the iPhone 5 as our test phone uh, when we set this up you can see up here 
um, as you move the map around wherever that pin drops will tell you what the reception's like in that point so if I drop it there in the middle of the orange uh, it will tell you that yes we get good voice reception indoors and outdoors if I drop it over here in say the pink section so I move the map so the pin sticks in the pink you can say I've actually got no coverage there at all so even though it says outdoors only the report from Optus's um, data is that there's no coverage and of course once we move outside that area at all again there's nothing at all okay so um, this is really uh, an important thing you need to check because if you don't get mobile phone coverage where you need it uh, well the phone's basically useless um, this is for calls and text we're looking at here if you look at data speeds uh, we get a different map and again it's color coded down the bottom here um, limited, moderate, good, best, and 3G plus, which is like fast uh, 3G access. Um, as you can see, there basically isn't any 3G plus in the Alice Springs area. And in fact, if you drop the pin in that sort of uh, purpley area there, even there it says 3G limited, even though the pin is uh, in the middle of what should be a, uh, a best area. If we zoom in a bit there, yeah, and see this is the curse of living in Outback Australia is that uh, you can be right near the airport um, you know which is where you'd expect to have reasonably good coverage and it can be pretty lousy so do check this and just take a look at Telstra's Telstra has the same kind of thing let me scroll down a little um, enter a location let's do Alice Springs again so just type that in and say find and it actually zooms you straight into Alice Springs here um, you can see this this coloured overlay we've got here is telling you that there's signal. So again, down the bottom you've got uh, the dark area is uh, 4G, typical 4G download speed. Then the lighter blue area is is a slightly, still pretty fast, but uh, slower than 4G. And then you've got the light blue, and finally you've got the orange, which is you know, kind of lousy service. Well, not lousy, but you know it's okay. The three megabits per second is still pretty good, really. Now if we zoom out a little bit and wait for the map to catch up okay so you'll see that what Telstra are offering is that around the Alice Springs area you can actually get 4G service but in the general area around Alice Springs you'll get their 3G service um, and like I say 20 megabits per second is still pretty fast so that's not too bad at all as we zoom out further one thing you'll notice is compared to the Optus, uh, sorry, the Vodafone maps we just looked at, um, this probably is a bigger area and it also covers some of the areas out here in the national parks to the west, which um, it seems that Vodafone didn't. You've also got some coverage over here, it's, it's slower coverage, but there's coverage over here on the, uh, the eastern side of Alice Springs. If we were to move this map sort of so it uh, let's just see if we can set this up. So there, whoops, let's zoom out of here. This is the Vodafone one again. I'm just trying to arrange it so it's uh, that silly pins in the way. So you can see here's the Alice Springs area, here's the uh, Uluru area, and if we go over to Telstra, here again here's the um, area here for Uluru, here's the Alice Springs area, but you've got a lot of other areas around the place that get some reception. Uh, it may not be great, so down here the light blue, um, it's obviously much slower, this orange section is slower again, but at least it exists, and over on the um, the Vodafone one it, it was non-existent so there'd be no reception so that's just uh, something to really bear in mind just before we finish up just let's take one quick look at um, Optus Alice Springs let's try that Alice Springs Northern Territory okay and again let's just lift that up a little bit and zoom out as you can see they all work more or less the same way so there's uh, Optus's area again. This is the Alice Springs region. This is down in the Uluru region. Uh, they they offer coverage there, but there seems to be very little. Let's just zoom back in again here. It seems to be basically non-existent coverage out here in the West McDonald Ranges or the Fink Gorge National Park. Whereas back on Telstra, uh, if we just zoom in to sort of get a comparable size, you know, Fink Gorge National Park down here and even little patches around here on the road out to the West McDonnell Ranges, uh, there is some coverage. So I think you'd have to uh, argue that for a user like Adele um, who needs coverage in Central Australia, that really there is only one option for her uh, and I guess you can figure out which one that is. 
Uh, now that may not be the case for everywhere else. If you're operating inside a major city, uh, then this becomes far less important because most of the carriers cover most of the area. Uh, although having said that, I know where I live, I get great Telstra, I get OK um, Voda, and I get virtually no Optus. So it really does um, require you to look very carefully at the specific area where users are. So Doris, for example, you were given her exact suburb in Perth. So when you go and check out stuff for her, don't just look at Perth in general, look at her specific suburb. Because if the phone doesn't work in her uh, house, then it's, again, basically useless. Alright, I hope I've given you some food for thought there when you're looking at coverage maps. So how to do it, and also some of the issues you need to consider as you're looking at what is the right plan and the right coverage and the right carrier for your chosen users. Good luck.